Hello, my beautiful people. Today, we're going to take a look at the Rise Armament Rave 140 Air 15 drop in 3.5 pound trigger. I don't know. So far, looking good. This guy, I think I got this guy for about 130 bucks. So that seems to be about what they go for. But okay, so pretty plain old packaging. Comes with the anti lock, anti walk pins, which I really did like, uh, just because that's nice. You don't have to go pick up extras, extra pieces and such. So, trigger itself is looking to be pretty decent quality. Nice engravings there. Hopefully that focuses. Yeah, this I opted for the flat trigger on this guy and keep in mind this is the rave this is the I guess supposed to be the gen 2 looks to me like they did some cutting kind of cut some stuff on the hammer and just kind of kind of made it overall kind of a little slicker looking that little dude just comes to a straight point for the most part kind of leans forward a little bit but I mean, everything looks pretty sweet. They got a couple springs on the bottom to, I'm assuming, to help kind of keep pressure to hold it all tight. Um, what I can feel, the trigger feels really nice. Um, milling and overall quality that I can see looks really sweet. I mean, like, they took some time and made sure these were put together nice. Yeah. Says three and a half pounds. Um, I got kind of a redneck way of checking that. So we're going to throw it in a gun and find out. Yeah. Looking pretty nice so far. They actually, here, I'll show you this. Down in here, you can see the, the faces are polished. Very nice, actually. And this thing is like... It's so, like there's zero creep, like there's zero movement almost at all before that thing breaks over. So we'll see when we get it in a gun, but yeah, so far, man, that's looking pretty slick. All right, stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have it in the gun. <laughs> First impressions. feels pretty sweet not gonna lie glare right there that's okay sit over here okay let's check the uh well maybe i'll kind of show you the movement here so it's solid that's your wall there's no creep to the break okay Bam! Let's try reset. Okay. That's it. That's all she wrote. This thing is like... Like solid. Right and tight. I'm loving it. All right. Let's throw the old uh, red neckery on this bad boy, which is <laughs> fish scale, right? I know, I know. The reason it's called the Terrible Outdoorsman, okay? But it works. It gets close, at least pretty close. So we'll get a good idea. We're going to hook you. I'm going to go kind of down towards the trigger, like the bottom of the trigger, where I would put my finger. We're going to pull this guy. Two, three. She broke over right at three and a half pounds. So then 
can get down here. Get a better idea of what I'm doing here. One, two, whoa, right at three. Redo that a little bit. Yeah. So that one was also right at just a hair over three. So I'm going to say between three to three and a half pounds. This particular trigger, they flat nailed it. So, very nice. Overall impressions, I think it's just freaking sweet for the price. I mean, for like 130 bucks, I know there's some places you can get them a little bit cheaper, like 100 bucks. Bangarang, man. Bangarang. Oh, oh. Nothing. No movement when the safety's on. Very clean, very nice, very crisp, very smooth. Basically everything they advertise. So, yeah, man, you want a nice upgrade to your AR for around a hundy, 130 bucks? Go with a Rise Armament, okay? Rise Armament drop-in. I imagine most any of their stuff is going to be about the same quality, I would expect. So, highly recommend... All right, ladies and gentlemen, you stay beautiful, stay terrible, go outdoors, have a blast. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye.